Well, oh, there we are. We're live. Hey, everyone. Uh, this just showed up at my front door. I wasn't expecting anything. Uh, so I figured I'd just throw on the laptop and go live for a surprise unboxing. I haven't even looked at the tags yet. There's a tag on the side here. I didn't order anything. That's for sure. Um, and no one told me they were sending me anything. The tag came from Sydney. It came from Australia. What is going on here? It's just like the, the customs tag or whatever. There's another tag on the bottom. It sucks. So it's Mark Brown. What does the tag on the bottom say? Is marked as a gift. This is truly a gift. Oh, it's from Mojo Stop Boxes from Tim Green. Oh man. I wonder if it's what I think it is. I mean, from the box, I can tell it's a guitar. This is a guitar box. Full description of goods, used guitar. I don't know. If this is what I think it is, I'm gonna be very excited in a little bit. I'm already overwhelmed. I don't know why he's sending me anything. <laughs> All right, time to start getting slicey on this thing. I think the body is down here and the headstock is up here. I know, I know, don't cut towards myself. I almost sliced my eyeball open there. I almost pernickered myself. This is a really awkward way to do this. James Edwards says, it's a sex doll. I'm going to show a comment. It stopped it. It better not be a sex doll. There's a soft case involved. No. Nothing extra in the box. Find a note. No, that was the uh, the customs paperwork. A lot of bubble wrap there. My kid's gonna love that. <sighs> open. It says open right here. I will follow its commands. Oh my goodness. <laughs> They're uh. They're Mojo stop box stickers. Well, this one's a lie. It says I visited Mojo stop box in Sydney, Australia. Now maybe I have to. Maybe. Oh my gosh, there's so many stickers here. <laughs> That's fun. So that was what was in there. All right, moment of truth. Do I want to read any of these comments? Nah, I'll read the comments later. There's 72 people watching. That's ridiculous. Hey, everyone. Do I peek at the headstock first or do I just open it all at once? I'm going to open it towards the camera. 
and we'll all see it at the same time. What if it's full of snakes and spiders from Australia? What if it's... No, nah, I'm not going to make that joke. All right. Oh, my gosh. This is what I was suspecting. Oh, geez. It's the Starfield that Steve and I talked about on the podcast. Was it last week or the week before? Oh, holy hell. This is fun. Why did you send this to me? <laughs> it smells like cigarettes or something. Not overwhelmingly, but... So we were saying that this looks like kind of like a prototype Talman on the podcast. We were talking all about this thing, and we're discovering the brand and looking at other examples on eBay. And I was, I was very much in love with the look of this. I mean, that's just cool, right? That's a cool guitar. Get the whole thing in shot. Um, from what we understand, these were made in the factory that was making Ibanez's in the early 90s. You see a lot of uh, you know, Ibanez-ish type features going on. That headstock is very reminiscent of you know, something you'd see on an Ibanez. The body and a lot of these features have a lot going on that you'd see on early Talmans. This really cool kind of like tropical Hawaiian wood look, gold hardware, this big chunky metal bridge here, giant block, two springs. I need to get a bar in this thing. I'll have to search through my collection of, of tremolo bars and see if anything's compatible with it. Oh boy, relatively flat, kind of shreddy modern neck on this. I should probably plug it in, huh? Let's get a stand up here. Man, this is just a surprise. I heard the doorbell ring. And my kid came and got me. And it's like, Daddy, Daddy, there's a there's a big package waiting for you. And I had no idea what had arrived. Only like 15 minutes ago. Jeez, thanks, Mojo Stomp Boxes. This is ridiculous. No communication at all. Didn't tell me this was on the way. He actually told me someone bought this. Because there was a post about it on the Facebook group. And he's like, ah, someone bought it. Someone wanted it. Maybe I'll find out the full details of what happened. Did he send it to me? Did someone else buy it for me? What is going on? That's super cool, though. All right, time to plug it in. I'm going to put... Um, I've got the fez down here. I'll put it in, it in between the amps and the guitar. Get a strap. Everyone go visit uh, mojostompboxes.com or whatever their web address is. Go check out the stuff that they have listed. To thank them for doing this. This is ridiculous. I doubt it's going to be in tune after its long trip. Just the strap over here. Yeah, not in tune. I'm gonna use my little phone tuner.
actually needs to go up a little bit. But it has that super fast, like Ibanez feeling neck. This thing is me, right? That is just my kind of look. <laughs> It might need a little intonation too. Let's hear it without the drive. You guys are going to need more volume. The neck pickup sounds really nice. Bridge sounds really nice too. Yeah, I'm going to have to raise the action, check the intonation on this thing. Uh, there's some rust and crust going on, so I'll have to uh, kind of clean this thing up a bit. I'm about to head off to Nam in a couple of days, so I don't have time to work on this thing now. The jack needs to be refreshed a little bit. just how ridiculously flat and shreddy this neck is. Like this thing screams kind of like retro throwback, but it's a very like 90s shreddy feeling neck. The frets aren't like mega jumbo or anything. They're kind of like a, like a medium to jumbo, but they're not like crazy over the top, but plenty of life and size to the frets, nice and tactile. A little bit chirpy on the edges, but not bitey. They're tactile. That's what I say about frets like this. You can feel them as you go up and down the neck, but they're not biting into me or anything. Pretty quacky on the bridge, but not like overly bright and ice picky like sometimes uh, lipsticks can be. Middle position. Let's get back into some drive. now i've just been jamming you guys have been chatting it up what's the most interesting thing going on in here sounds like doo-doo <laughs> steve is going to cry i should probably share it with steve or let him borrow it a couple times tune it to metal i don't know i gotta throw some heavy gain on there to do that yeah, you guys are just talking to yourself. I don't need to answer any of this stuff. You know that I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I'm super excited about this. This is just really, really freaking cool. Thanks so much, Mojo Stomp Boxes. MojoStompBoxes.com. It says on the sticker. Go visit it. I'll put a link in the description when I go and edit this video a little bit. Um, man, I'm just blown away. I'm blown away that he would send this to me. Well, I'll have to do a bunch of videos made in Japan and the serial number on the back. I'll have to do a bunch of videos of cleaning it up and dialing it in and uh, testing some things with it, probably taking it apart at some point, look at the guts underneath here. Um, 
And I'll be sure to mention Mojo Stomp Boxes in all those videos and put links to his shop because this is just an incredible thing to send to me. Like I say all the time on the show, when I like a guitar, I'm like, oh man, I'd, I'd really love to have that guitar, but I'm not going to make it happen because, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to buy more guitars. I've got too many. But here we go. He wanted to send it to me, I guess, or someone else made it happen. I don't know what the story is. I'll find that out. And I'll update you guys at some point on that. But man, I'm I'm stoked. This is too cool. I'm glad that I'm not uh, so jaded at this point in my life that I'm not affected by getting a guitar that I was interested in, especially as a surprise like gift. It said on the it said on the custom label that it was a gift, so that's what it is. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, just like. Leave me your nasty comments. First on Patreon. Go follow the link for mojostompboxes.com. It's really small down there. Um, they're based in Sydney, Australia. They uh, have all kinds of really cool used stuff in their shop. It's great for just window shopping. So go check those guys out. Uh, as a big thank you to them for sending me this guitar that I was lusting after. This is ridiculous. Okay. Bye, everyone. Stay grounded. Oh, I'll play. I'll play out a little bit. I'll gain the. Uh, I'll dime the gain on this fez. <laughs>